Welcome to the first episode of the Kawasaki GPZ 550 build. You might recognize this tank from an earlier episode where I did the paint job, but today we're doing a little bit of fabrication where we're going to make a new battery tray and then we're going to take this Moto Gadget Motoscope Pro gauge, make a mount for it. This is the old tray. You can see it's uh, been through a lot, so it's time to start fresh with a new piece. I measured and cut out this piece of aluminum to be the new battery tray which I'll take over to the brake to bend up, both to stiffen the part up and to keep the road grime out. This is a little Z bracket I whipped up. This is going to mount to the back of the battery tray and hang over the rear frame tube. The frame has been powder coated already, so I don't want to be drilling holes or welding or anything on this piece. So it's just going to sit on top, kind of clamp it down. As an added bonus, this is going to also attach to the license plate bracket. And there's a hole right here. A reason for that will become clear later on. I'm using two short pieces of aluminum angle to hold the battery in place. I'm bending a small tab out of each one to hook a battery strap over. I'm gonna weld them in place. I'm warning you, I am not the best aluminum welder, but practice is practice. And uh, looks like I've got a little warpage, which is not unexpected. I'll fix that by weighing down the pan and then I'll add this piece. Not only is it going to stiffen it up, but it also doubles as two points to bolt the tray to the chassis. All right, let's see how it fits. I'm gonna add a little cushion to either side of the battery with this foam, and then the battery strap goes up and over the top, hooking around the two tabs that we made earlier. You guys might be wondering why I'm recording voiceover in the car. Not long after finishing the fabrication of this video, I drove myself to the airport, hopped on a plane down to Dallas, Texas. I'm taking a, I'm taking a road trip. What, what emoji do you wanna use for your face? <laughs> Uh, I think uh, the biggest smile you can find. The biggest smile? We're having okay. So much fun. Not not the poop emoji. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a cool piece. This is a starter solenoid that also serves as a main fuse, which is great. That means one less thing to have to try to mount. In that same vein, this rear mount for the battery tray will double as the mount for the solenoid. And looks like if I flip the battery around, the wiring actually gets a lot easier. That looks pretty tidy. The cafe seat just kind of clips into place and we are done in the back for now. So we're on our way back to New York and uh, got another passenger in tow. I think we're going through like at least 12 states. Started in Texas, in Dallas, went Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, back into Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, back into Virginia, Maryland for like four minutes, 
Pennsylvania, and then we're gonna go to New Jersey and New York. Were you counting? How many was that? I wasn't counting. Oh shit. <laughs> Next, we're gonna knock out the gauge mount, but I'm not gonna talk you through it. Just sit back and watch. Nice feature of this starter solenoid slash master fuse is that you only need one wire from the battery to the solenoid. This provides power not only to the starter motor, but it also provides power to this connector here. This red wire runs down to the M unit to provide constant 12 volt power. One thing to note about the gauge is that it's kind of basic unless you add one of these breakout box pieces. Uh, and that gives you the ability to read sensor data from a number of different things. I'll do an episode on wiring in this Motoscope Pro gauge, and I'll probably put that breakout box right here. Stay tuned. <laughs> 